guys welcome back to my youtube channel i don't know why i just clapped it's the yoruba in me <laughs> in the last video i talked about what to do before you start out as a social media manager and if you've not watched it make sure you check the description below or you click this link here and it'll take you back to that video so that you can get to learn um what i said in the video and in this video we'll be talking about common social media management on body mistakes i see social media managers make make a lot and i've made it and i don't want you to make it again i want you to stop making it that's what i'm doing this video for you this is like a free course trust me and you actually need to learn how to like stop making those mistakes because you need to grow if you're willing to grow and expand your business as a social media manager you need to stop making mistakes like this when you're onboarding a new client so let's get into it shall we mistake i see a lot of social media managers make is not getting admin access and i'm going to be talking about it since the first one is not getting admin access when i mean admin access a lot of i've heard social media managers say the social media managers of a page but you don't have access to their account you cannot be the social media manager of the page if you don't have access to the account if somebody else is doing the posting because i've heard someone say that a company did not give her access to the account they employed her she goes she works a nine to five but she doesn't have access to the account somebody else posts because they are too scared to give her access to the account that's like a very very wrong mistake and you're not going to enjoy it so she has to judge she has to judge from the outside she cannot reply comment she has to reply comment with the back. and i'm like they have the wrong orientation and you coming in as a social media manager has to tell them that no i won't be able to deliver on my job if i am not if I don't have admin access. Now, if you're a freelance social media manager and, so, and your client tells you that they're not going to give you access, do they expect you to perform magic? Or um, are you Jesus Christ? Are you a miracle worker? No, you need admin access on their ads account, on their Instagram account. Maybe if you're managing Twitter, on any of their accounts, you need admin access. You need to be able to post. You also need admin access to the scheduler that they are using so that you can schedule. Ask them. One of the questions I ask my clients is, which of these schedulers would you have you been using before? I got to discover that one of my clients uses Plan Only. I don't use Plan Only, but I'm going to use Plan Only because of her. I'm going to use Plan Only because of her and schedule a content in Plan Only. I'm going to download Plan Only. I've used Plan Only before, so it's not going to be hard for me to do. Signing into a Plan Only account, if she's using the Pro account, if she's not using the Pro account, we can, I can tell her that, okay, we can switch. We can switch to maybe Facebook Creator Studio because that's what I use. You don't have to like just put a blah, blah, blah. no no no. Let, you need admin access to whatever scheduler they are using so that you can also schedule content. So you don't have to be picking and posting every single day. You're going to get tired. So number one is not getting admin access immediately. Number two is not getting full access right away. Getting admin access immediately is one mistake. Second one is not getting full access right away that's the very big mistake full access meaning full access to their brand assets full access to their content full access to their schedulers full access to their accounts that's full assets so you need full access to it to be able to deliver to your admin access is just for the account but you need their brand assets to be able to design graphics for them you need their brand assets that what fonts do they use what video types do they oh yeah okay. what are you going to post on the page are you a miracle worker no so you need full access right away once you've onboarded the client. If you've not onboarded the client, well, go and check my onboarding video. I will also link it in the description below. You need to check the onboarding video. And it walks you through the exact steps that I did. Number three is not having a contract. And oh, this is going to be a topic for another. It's going to be a video on its own. Why it is important. Why it is necessary for you to have a contract. The type of contract you should have. And the mistakes you make when you have contracts. So, a lot of social media managers don't sign contracts. Your contracts don't have to be long. A lot of people copy and paste from the internet. Trust me, my contract just states, um, this agreement states the date of our starting. My contract states the scope of, scope of work, what I'm going to be doing for you. I state it today. Um, I state how you're going to make payment, um, how ads payment is going to run and everything. And the signature. That's it. Straight to the point. Your contract don't have to be too long. It's a contract between you and the client and you have to sign it. You get, I get, get your lawyer friends to look at it. I have a lawyer friend and pay for pay for services. Get her to look at it so that it can stand in the court of law. Do you understand? You need to have a contract, not having a contract. And having a contract is one thing. Let your client sign the contract and send it back to you. They have to sign the contract and send it back to you, or else you're still joking. Trust me. Not ensuring everything is verified is the fourth mistake a lot of people make. So you need to verify a lot of things. So for me, one, I'm going to use myself as an example. When I started managing somebody's account, 
she sent me google um a google drive and everything i didn't look at it and i'm like oh i've seen it and everything but i was it was when i now wanted to check it and i discovered that i needed to ask for access and she knew that i hadn't checked it you need to verify everything immediately. So you, you might not have the time, but you need to verify every single thing that they sent to you. Verify their ads accounts. Verify that they don't buy followers. They've never bought followers before. Check it yourself when you log into their account. Check their engagement. Check their back end. Check everything. You need to verify that. Make sure everything is verified before you start working with them. You want to make sure that this client knows what they're doing. Tell them before you start working with them. Can I see? You need to send me all the content that you have right now that you've posted and that you want to post or you want to repost and everything. That's what I did to my client she sent me over over 30 videos i'm like okay yes we're ready for to work on everything because with 30 videos i need to see design graphics and i'm good to go do you get the fifth thing is using your own account to run ads please never ever 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 do that never use your own account to run ads for a client create rather if your client doesn't have an account or it has been disabled create a new one tell them to create a new one or you create a new one for them don't use your own ads to run account for them because if you don't actually enjoy running ads with the clients, it's going to be, they're still going to be linked to the client if you don't actually enjoy working with the client. You want to be able to give them the brand asset once you have bought a client. So you don't want to, you don't want to keep on working with that particular client. So please stop using your own accounts to run ads for clients. And the last mistake I see a lot of people make is, it's still related to running ads for a client. Pay for clients ad spends from your own account or your salary. Why? It's stated clearly in my contract. That is why you should also have a contract that any other ad spend or any additional spend will be covered. Additional expenses will be covered by the client. It is not coming up from my own account. It's not. That's why you should not run ads from your own ad account because if your clients have their own ad account, they will add their own card to it. And if they say their card is not, they should go and look for someone else's, maybe their family member's card to add to it don't add your account it should not be run from your salary it should not be run from your own ad account you should not deduct you should no 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 you're just the money you're a ghost you're a ghost member for their um, social media you're a ghost writer a ghost person for social media man um for a social um, what am i saying <laughs> i'm not gonna cut that part you're a, a social media manager is a ghost for an account except if you're showing your face on that particular account you're, you're a ghost member you're a ghost person on that account so paying for clients ad spend from your account is totally a no-no from your account or from your salary it is wrong make sure you don't make me and if you're making these mistakes i can help you can pay for my vip day my mini vip day for social media managers link is in the description below to to book a session with me and if you want to, if you want to learn more, maybe you're just starting out and you stumbled on this video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and share before you now, um, before you now uh -huh, click the description in the link below. Don't forget to subscribe and like because that's what helps me. So um, you can have a free course that you can start with and I also have a basic course. I have an advanced course, but the waitlist is not going to be released yet until the people that are currently in it will leave. So the waitlist will be, when the waitlist is ready, definitely you will get updated. All right, guys, that's it. I don't like my YouTube videos very long and I feel like this is also so long because I don't really like long videos, except if I'm watching Chinese films on YouTube, which I do a lot. So I'll see you guys in the next video and I really, really hope you learned something. I'd love to hear from you. So please, let's chat in the comment section. All right, guys, bye.